Hey Magical Sparks, welcome back to my channel, it's Sparkle here and today I'm going to be showing you guys four fun ways to get drawing ideas for when you're bored or you just don't know what to draw. And these are all ways that have helped me out in the past personally so I hope they help you out as well. And without any further ado, let's get straight into this. So the first idea is something that I like to call color craziness, but hold on and let me explain what I mean. So for this idea, the first thing you're going to want to do is to grab out a bunch of markers or a bunch of pencils or pretty much anything that's colorful and then close your eyes and pick out three random colors. So I really took my time with this and in the end, I ended up getting a blue marker, a green marker and a yellow marker. And these aren't colors that I would normally end up using in the same illustration unless I was drawing like a lemon inspired character. But I think it was really cool how I got these colors because it gave me a chance to experiment with a color palette that I wouldn't normally think of using but anyways once you've got your three colors just go ahead and make a mini swatch of them in your sketchbook or just on a piece of paper and then write down the first thing that comes to mind when you see these colors now i don't want you guys to write down the second thing or the third thing that you think of no i want you guys to write down the first thing that you think of so in my case the first thing i thought of when i saw these colors was for some reason lemonade on a sunny day and now here's the thing right You've got the colors that you're going to be using and you've got the prompt of what you're going to be drawing. The next thing for you to do is to jump straight into drawing. Now don't overthink what you're going to do and just get straight into it and just start creating. I know sometimes it is hard to just instantly think of an idea, but in this situation you know the kind of idea you're going to go for and you know the colors that you're going to use, so just kind of use that to kind of create something. Now in my case here, I did say lemonade on a sunny day, but I didn't know what I wanted to draw. So I just started off by drawing a random pose, then I started adding more details, and then I thought about um, the type of clothes a character might wear on a sunny day then I thought about how I could incorporate the colors and finally how I could incorporate the idea of lemonade but in the end I didn't end up going with lemonade I kind of went with a lemonade flavored slurpy or slushy but look that's totally fine the entire point of this way is to help you guys get an idea for drawing you don't have to go with the exact same prompt or the exact same colors but this just provides you guys with a starting point on what you want to create also I do want to make something clear before we get further into this video and that's that pretty much even though I am showing you guys four different ways to get drawing ideas for when you don't know what to draw, um, these are just ways that have personally helped me out in the past and these are just like ways that have helped me get ideas for when I didn't know what to draw and I would be really happy if this video helps out you guys as well and if it helps you guys get drawing ideas and everything but again everyone has different ways of getting ideas and of creating art and no way is the wrong way, whatever you do, whatever suits you is definitely amazing and you don't have to agree with all my points in this video but i do hope that this video might be of some help to any beginner artist or anyone looking to get back into art again to help you guys get ideas and stay creative also just one more thing i wanted to add for anyone who's wondering how this video is different to the video where i showed you guys five ways to fill your sketchbook the reason i'd say that these videos are different is because that video kind of gives you specific ideas on how you can fill your sketchbook whereas this video gives you ways to start up and create your own ideas and be more wild with what you create so yeah this video is just kind of more of a start point to help you guys find a way to generate your own original ideas whereas that video kind of just gave you like ideas for what you could draw directly in your sketchbook all right and with that done more about this idea so one of my favorite reasons for why i love this idea is because more often than not whenever i have the time to draw and whenever i'm ready to dedicate two hours to just sitting down and drawing and relaxing and just creating something in my sketchbook that is exactly when i sit down to create and realize that i just have no idea what i want to draw so in these times i love doing this idea because picking out random colors just helps me get an idea of what I want to draw in my head like for example if instead of this I had gotten let's say red gray and brown I would have thought of drawing for example a character wearing a dress inspired by roses or if I got um, green purple and yellow that was a really weird combination but that kind of reminds me of like an underwater theme with like a, maybe a mermaid with a starfish kind of friend or something i don't know the thing is picking out three random colors will help you guys just get a general idea of what you want to create or at least where to start because as soon as you see these three colors you will get some kind of idea that forms in your head 
and you don't have to write it out like I did here. In fact, I usually don't write out the ideas that I get, but I find that it kind of does help to write it out because that way, like I said before, it kind of just provides a direction for the type of drawing you can create. And that's just why I really love this idea. It's just like a really great starting point. Along with that, if you guys end up getting three random colors that you wouldn't normally think about using in the same illustration, then it'll also help you guys push yourself out of your comfort zone and experiment with this brand new color palette. So either way, I would say it's a win-win. And if you are feeling really, really brave, then you can also just like go ahead and pick out a color palette with like five or six colors or even ten. It's totally up to you, but in the end, I hope this idea helps out a couple of people at least. And I hope it helps you guys get some crazy ideas. Alrighty, and here is the second way that you guys can get ideas for things to draw when you don't know what to draw. And I like to call this one creative construction. So for this idea, you pretty much have to think about three random things. Either pick an object, an animal, and a fruit, or an object, a place, and a color, or just like pick any three random things that don't relate to each other and in the end just kind of like combine them into one illustration. The reason I like to call this creative construction is because obviously you're being creative by combining these three things but also in a way you're constructing something from other things like you have three random things that you're going to be combining and incorporating into one drawing to create one final singular illustration. So in my case I decided to go with an object, an animal or like an insect kind of and a fruit. So I went with a picnic basket, a butterfly, and an apple. These are completely random, I don't know why I thought of them, but I just did. <laughs> and then we get straight into drawing. So as I went into this drawing, I didn't really have an idea of what I wanted to do. The only thing that I knew was the pose and I knew that I wanted to have like a girl sitting on a picnic basket. Wait, sorry, a picnic mat, why did I say basket? <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Anyways, I'll leave that there because I want you guys to see just how imperfect my voiceovers are. Anyways, I decided to draw a girl sitting on a picnic mat. There we go, that came out much better. But I couldn't decide on exactly how I wanted to get her sitting on that mat, so I tried this like kind of slanted pose, which didn't end up working out. I used a reference, didn't work out, so then I decided to draw a girl just sitting on her lap, and when I drew this, I didn't use a reference at the time so it, it looks a little bit weird so let's just try and ignore how the legs look even though I know I'm talking about it right now and you guys are probably like trying to stare at it underneath my hand but still let's just try and ignore it okay thank you <laughs> but anyways once I had the pose figured out then I decided to join the outfit and initially I had a different idea for the outfit but then I looked at the apple and the picnic basket and I don't know why but it like reminded me so much of Snow White so the dress I ended up drawing here was like really inspired by Snow White's outfit um, especially like the top part of the dress and the bottom part is like kind of shortened but in the end I would kind of say this does look like Snow White but with longer hair and I don't know I just find it really interesting how I ended up drawing this character who looks like Snow White because if I hadn't done this idea I probably would not have drawn that character at all in my sketchbook but yeah there we go this is what creative construction can lead to and anyways here's the final drawing it's a messy sketch but I love it because it's so messy and with that let's get on to the third idea which is something I like to call dazzle and design so this idea is really nostalgic for me because it reminds me of the good old days when I pretty much never ran out of time and I could always every single day find a bunch of time to draw Anyways, this idea reminds me of that because I used to do this a lot back then and pretty much what I mean by dazzle and design is to do a fashion design drawing. So start off with a basic pose like this or if you want to make it complex, go ahead and make it complex and then just sketch in a random dress. So the dress I'm drawing here is not something I saw online, it's not something I think I've ever seen anyone wear and it was just like something that randomly popped into my head so I decided to draw it and the whole time I was really worried about it because I felt like the sleeves weren't really matched with the skirt but I just kind of went with it and I think it turned out pretty cool in the end. But anyways, for this idea, all you guys have to do is draw a pose and then just go ahead and start fashion designing. Like, just draw whatever comes to mind. Think of any random thing. Like, when I was creating this drawing, I was thinking about waves, which is kind of what inspired the bottom part of the dress. You could think about anything else, like stars, leaves, flowers, fruits, anything, literally anything. 
and then just like design an outfit based on it. And the reason why I love this idea is because no matter how simple the outfit is, it's still going to push you to draw and even though you might start simple, as you look at the drawing for longer, you will start to get more ideas about things you could add such as like frills, a jacket, maybe like different kind of hemming and everything. And this is just like one of those things where you might like not be interested to do it and you might start simple but in the end it'll end up looking like a complete masterpiece trust me on this idea i definitely recommend that giving it a go is going to be worth your time I hope you guys enjoyed that random but satisfying ASMR and also I do want to just pop in and say thank you guys so so much for 1 million views on my 5 ways to fill your sketchbook video. When I was making that video I never expected that it would blow up or get this many views but I am just like above and beyond grateful like it just means so much to me and it makes me so so happy and just seriously thank you guys so much for all the support and all the love recently it just it's mind-blowingly amazing <laughs> and all the positivity has actually been so motivational because it's just been pushing me to keep on drawing more and keep on creating more because now I see that my art has inspired so many people around the world which I still cannot believe and it makes me like so so unbelievably happy and grateful and it's also just really pushing me to make better videos as well because now I know that like my videos are actually helping people get back into art as well so like I'm trying to focus on the type of videos I'm making and the effort I'm putting into my videos and it's just overall been so great to see how much my channel has come like how far my channel has come in these last two months and I just I don't know just thank you guys so much for everything I have never felt more speechless in my life <laughs> But um, also about this drawing, the whole time I was working on this drawing, I didn't realize what the character looked like. But as soon as I finished the drawing and I took a step back and looked back at it again, I realized that this character looks so much like Bloom from Wings. Like just the color of the hair, the fact that she has blue streaks and the fact that her outfit is blue as well. It's really giving me Bloom vibes and I love it. I think it's really cool. <laughs> And I also decided to go with a simple background just to fill up the space and and just a quick warning for anyone with triphobia because in the next clips I'm going to be like adding dots with my white gel pen. So yeah, this is like really satisfying for me because I just love using my white gel pen in general and especially when I'm like adding sparkles or like a glittery effect to a dress. It's my favorite thing ever. But I know for some people who have triphobia, it can be a little bit scary or disgusting. So yeah, that's why I just added that warning in there. But here's how this drawing turned out. And with that, let's head on to the fourth idea which is something i like to call study for fun now get ready because i'm about to blow your mind because when it comes to art studying can in fact actually be fun exactly pow mind blown <laughs> all right all right but jokes aside let me explain when it comes to art one of my favorite things to do whenever i'm like completely out of ideas and i do not at all feel any level of creativity to think of something from my mind and create i love to draw from reference and i know some of you guys as well might not agree with the last three ideas because sometimes like no matter what you do you just cannot think of an idea of what to draw and it can get super frustrating so in these times i would recommend dedicating a page in your sketchbook to studying so when i say studying i don't mean like writing out an entire essay i mean kind of just like drawing from reference and for the majority of the drawings that i made on this page i used pinterest as reference all right so here is why i think this idea would be perfect effect for anybody who wants to draw but is like completely out of creativity number one you don't have to think of anything from your mind it's actually just right there in front of you and you just have to try and replicate that image in your own art style or just as it is number two focusing on a subject will help you to learn more about it because by making these drawings in the end you're technically studying like it doesn't matter if you decide to draw cute animals like i did here or if you decide to draw a bunch of hands or a bunch of eyes faces 
spices or fruits I don't know either way it will help you to kind of just practice drawing the subject matter you choose and in a way develop your skills and number three is that by studying images and drawing from reference your brain will start to learn how to break down a complex image into more simpler shapes before adding the details so if you gave this image to me like about five years back I would have struggled so much and I would have just like gone straight into the detail but now as I've practiced drawing animals, I've kind of been learning how to break down their faces and their body into smaller shapes, which has really helped me to improve my art. And if you guys decide to draw animals or for example, hands or feet or something, you'll kind of start to learn how to break it down to smaller shapes. And in a way, you'll kind of start to build your own process on how to draw that specific subject or matter. And that's why I think this is a really great idea. Also, by the way, I do want to mention that I am in no way good at drawing animals yet. Like I'm still learning and that's why this page looks a little bit rough but again that's totally fine because the entire point of studying something is so you can get better at it so by drawing these animals in this page I've kind of learned more about how their proportions would look for cats and dogs and for how I should draw eyes and everything so yeah it's also just really good because obviously by studying you'll be learning and anyways guys those are all the four ways that I would recommend for you guys to try if you want to get ideas to draw or like if you're just bored and you don't know what to draw. These are, like I said before, ideas that have helped me and I hope they help you guys out as well. And here are the final drawings that we made in this video. Again, some of them look a little bit rough, but I'm loving it. I love how messy the page is and I especially love how really full the spread is. But anyways, that's it for today. Have a fabulous day. Stay awesome as always and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!